Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. Now I'm going to show you how to make a uh, backdrop for your models or text. It's quite easy, so let's start up a new Blender file. Press File and click New and Reload Startup File. In the viewport you have your cube and your light. We're gonna just shift select, right click on both and press Delete. Then we're gonna press shift A and add a plane. If you're new to Blender you can also look at the screencast keys in the bottom left corner here. We'll display every input I do during the tutorial. And we now have our ground for our backdrop but we need the wall as well. So we're gonna do some very simple modeling. Just press tab on your keyboard Go down here and press Edge Select. Right click on this edge. Press 3 on your number pad and 5. Press E to extrude and E to extrude again. Left click to apply your extrude. Now press Tab to go out to edit mode again. Now if we orbit around we can see we have our infinity backdrop. Uh, in order to make it smooth as in the example I showed you earlier, we have to add a subdivision surface modifier to this plane or to this model. So go up here on the right side and click on this wrench, click add modifier and then subdivision surface. Press 3 on both view and render. Go on the left side and press smooth shading. Then to get a more flat ground, press tab again Control R and hover on this side of the of the model. Left click and drag towards where the where the floor and the wall meets. And left click to apply and tab out of edit mode. Now that you have your backdrop, it's time to add in your model. If you already made a model, you can press File and Append and find your a previous project that you made. Or you can follow along this tutorial and just add this monkey head or text if you want. It's up to you. We're going to use this uh, monkey model just to showcase what you can do with this type of backdrop. Now, as the monkey is now, it's, um, it's very low poly. So we're going to add a subdivision surface still on the wrench here. Add a subdivision surface and just press 2. Make sure both of these are set to 2. And then press smooth shading. Now that we have a more high poly character, we can place it on the ground. An easy technique to place something on the flat surface is pressing 3, to see it from the side view, and press Z on your keyboard. Now you can see this black line here, that's the, that's the ground. So we're going to press R, to rotate, left click to apply, and G, put, put it closer to the ground, and also left click to apply. Now you can do this <clears throat> a couple of times, uh, switching between G and R to get the, the right placement. You can also look from other angles, if you have an, another type of model, um, but when you're when you place your model on the ground, we can go back into solid view. Press C again on the on the keyboard. Now we want to um, place our camera so we can see this um, this mesh or this model. So duplicate a window first and press zero on this right side. Now we have our camera view on the right side and we can see everything on the left side. So first change to Cycles Render Engine, because we're going to render this in Cycles. Right click on the camera, press 7 for top view, and G to move it closer to centered of this uh, the model. R to rotate again, and G to bring it a bit closer, and R again. Press 3 on your number pad, and G to move it downwards. Now maybe the I think the angle is too steep, so I want to 
rotate rotate it uh, a bit more up upwards, and then press G again. Maybe a bit, a bit more downwards again. This all depends on what kind of model you have, uh, how you want to set your angle. Maybe you want to shoot it from the side. Maybe it's a completely different look. When you're happy with a placement of your model, uh, we're going to add in some lights. Press Shift A, and under Mesh, we're going to select Plane. Drag this upwards, scale it up just a bit, and we're going to, on the right side here, click on Material, click New. On Surface, on this Surface tab here, we're going to select Emission Shader. We're going to set the value to 5. Now we can take a look at our model in Render View. Make sure to save your project while you're doing this, because this is a more intensive task. Sometimes Blender decides to crash. Press Ctrl B and drag across the screen here, so we just render what's inside the camera's view. It uh, saves some performance on your PC or Mac. Then we're going to add just another light. So press. Make sure you're on the left side, press, press 3 and Shift D and rotate the lamp or the plane. Now we get more even light on our backdrop. We're lighting two parts here, we're lighting the backdrop as well as the uh, model in front with like top-down lamp. I think the sh sh uh, I think it gives it a cool a cool shading doing this technique you can also put up a three point lighting or more lamps we're going to just uh adjust this this first lamp here to point a bit more frontal to the to our model I'm quite happy with the way this looks just got to add some color to our model press right click on the model, press new and for this I'm going to make it just a, a light blue color and also for my background light I'm going to try to make it the same color as my model so I'm just going to press this two button here now it's a separate material on this lamp and I'm going to change the color to a bit more bluish when you're happy with your scene go over to this right side of Blender and click on this camera icon. Here you can choose between CPU or GPU if you have that enabled. I'm going to choose GPU. Drag this up to 100% then I get a full HD image. Further down here we have sampling. Set this to about 200 and if you're on a CPU, just leave this at 64 by 64. But if you're rendering on a GPU like I am, punch in 512 by 512 and press F12 or we can click up here to render. Now on the left side you will see Blender is uh, rendering out our scene. Now the render is done. It took about three, 35 seconds. If you want to save this image, press F3 on your keyboard choose the destination. You can also name your file up here. Call it monkey. I just put it on my desktop for now. And save as image. And you're done. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And I will see you in the next tutorial.